Hey guys, welcome to Stream Benchrest 2022. I'm here with Troy Hammer. Uh, just wanted to ask you a few questions. Oh, I cool. see you have an Umarex shirt yes. on. Uh, so this year you're shooting Umarex? I'm shooting Umarex this year. I would worked with the Umarex team on the original Gauntlet 30 back a few years ago. And uh, we decided to take one of those rifles this year and get it set up and really put it through its paces. So we have uh, three Umarex 30s on the team this year and uh, we're gonna be competing against the big boys with, uh, with everyday rifles that you know customers out there already have and own that may wanna get into bench rest, so we're gonna show them that it's possible. Now that's one of these things you see recurring online, especially on forums where people are commenting, oh, I cannot compete unless I drop 5K and then three more K on top of that. Yes. So you really are the representation of that, that that's not true, that you can't come here. not true. Uh, I've been competing for the last five years uh, and bench rest competitions, both EBR locally and at RMAC. And I've been competing with an entire kit, rifle, bipod, and scope that can be purchased for under $1,000. And I have placed uh, in the pro class before finals at EBR with that rifle. And I have uh, placed this year at our local club, second, third, and fifth overall against an entire field of nothing but FX and Day State. And so this year, what's your experience so far? Uh, well, we took some time to actually put together a gauntlet that uh, is designed more for shooting pellets. Um, the factory gauntlet is a fantastic rifle, but we designed it and built it for hunting. So it's a very powerful hunting gun. So right. we actually detuned it a little bit, uh, which is kind of unheard of, is uh, buying a, a rifle and, and lowering the power. But right. we really wanted to get it set up for pellets. Uh, and it seems like in the wind out here, we're shooting 30, uh, 30 caliber 44.75 JSBs right in the 850 feet per second range. Oh, and that's and after the detune. That's after the detune. So I think it's pushing uh, some they, Yeah, they were, they were pushing at over 1,000 feet per second out of the box. Right. So uh, it's, we tuned it down to about 850. It's bucking the wind really well. It's shooting really well, so we're very excited to uh, hopefully break some hearts when, uh, yeah. when we uh, <laughs> put, a, put a gauntlet in the finals. And so the audience, if anyone watching, they can find you and your shop at thebestairgun.com? Yes, thebestairgun.com. The okay, and you have a lot of Turkish stuff, but you're moving into other avenues, right? Moving into other avenues. So we're going to have a lot of uh, self-installed tuning parts uh, for uh, various guns, uh, Turkish guns uh, that I've always been doing, the Crawls and the new Benjamin line, uh, but also with some uh, Umarex guns. Uh, we're designing some new slug barrels that are specific for uh, 22 caliber air guns, your lower powered air guns. Again, not everybody is out here shooting a $5,000 uh, 22 caliber air gun that can make 80 foot pounds. You know, most of us are shooting 20, 30, 40 foot pound guns. Right. So it's a slug barrel that shoots both pellets and slugs, but uh, it really shines with a uh, lighter weight. 26 to 28 grain slug that a lot of these rifles can shoot. And there's a lot of demand for that yeah, too because I mean demand, a lot of these so. higher end guns have the, the high power you know yeah. mode or whatever dial but if you're having an entry level gun these things don't well, push yeah. slugs well, that this, well. This barrel will be able to just be a drop in replacement for everything from just your marauder to your gauntlet to your crawl to your um, you it's know, hard to get in, into TGA barrels or yeah. anything like that. You can so you these, have to get in line, so that'd be good. These are all uh, hammer-forged firearm grade steel. They're a three groove, uh, so it's a very low friction, low distortion design. And like I said, you can get a barrel, drop it into a Marauder with a 17 and a half grain uh, Nick Nelson slug, and it shoots fantastic. Or you can put it into a, a high power. I've actually got a guy getting ready to put one on a Day State Red Wolf. And so when, be when is this barrel going to hit the market where people, consumers can actually go to your site and buy this thing? Uh, we should have it out before Christmas. Yeah. Uh, the biggest thing now is getting all the dimensions for all the different guns so that we can have the barrels drop in ready. Okay. Uh, currently, you can purchase, if you have the ability to do your own machining, you can buy the blank. Uh, they're sold by the inch. So if you want a 20 inch barrel or you want a 30 inch barrel or you want somewhere in between, you can just purchase it whatever length you want and then fit it to your gun yourself. And, uh, but we really wanna have drop in ready cause it's, it's not everyone has the ability to, to machine a barrel. Right. So we wanna make sure that we have uh, 
have everything together, like I said, all the dimensions for the different guns so that we can get someone to have those barrels all machined um, on a CNC machine so that it's a direct drop fit and perfect performance in anyone's rifle. Okay, well, Troy, thank, thank you very you. much and uh, good luck. So I'm practicing with the 2-2 two -two, uh, for the 75 yard base rest. Uh, I hold out no hope at all. I've been talking to my buddy here, Troy. Right? Troy Hammer, yeah? Yes. Is that, no, I don't care what any, all of you viewers, right? The coolest name I have ever heard in my life Troy Hammer. This guy can pull a chick just with his name. Because when he walks up and goes, hey, Troy, Troy Hammer, right? That's it. I mean, I fancy him, right? With a name like that, right, instead of Cyril Stevens, right, that's not got the same pulling thing, but this guy, and he can shoot, which is really annoying. 